Uh, there we are. I know. I want to see the new broadcast. Thank you. Alright, sights and sounds, that's good. Maybe I'll have it together one day like a professional. Not today though, probably. Probably not today. When will that day be? I don't know. Probably never. Um, this is the best I can do. I now must clean my glasses because I will not be able to live otherwise. <sighs> Forcing A! I'm trying not to be like real. Hega, Hega? No, Mega Heckin'. That's what I was trying to say. Whatever. I'm trying to be not like super fucking, like real irritated about this, uh, absolutely. <sighs> I've been so good this whole time I've been working on this video. I've been so good about like making sure that everything was gonna pass, uh, copyright checks and like all of that stuff. And then, like, I used, I said in the Discord it was Bach. It's not actually Bach. I looked it up. It's Chopin. But I used a Chopin, uh, song, and it's like, I'm, it fit really nicely. And I'm tired. And I just, like, I was just like, yeah, I can use this. Like, yeah, this system is extremely broken. I'm like, I can use this because I pulled it down off of the song library that I'm subscribed to for money. And so it should be usable. And like, and if it gets, and if it gets dings, I'll just get in touch with the, uh... with this, the sound library people and be like, hi, it's me. I gave you money to fix this and then they would fix it. And, uh, no. So far, I mean, I gotta give them some time to respond to the email, but like their automated system was like, there's nothing, there's no claim on this. And I was like, yes, there fucking is. Some damn boomer TV show I never fucking heard of has claimed this because I guess if a boomer TV show uses Chopin one time, nobody else can ever use it. Even when it's a different recording that I literally paid to use. This is why it's like, it is like a fool's game trying to use classical music in a YouTube video. An absolute fool's game and I know better and fucking yet... I'm tired and it worked. It worked so nice because so like now not only do I gotta rescore it Because this is like my current plan is like I emailed the the soundstripe people and I Disputed the claim because no you can't own all of Chopin get fucked. No um But I'm probably gonna rescore it because I don't want to wait 30 days. I'm like, I'm getting to the end of the process and I'm starting to feel that like ADHD need to finish the thing. I'm not, I don't want to wait that long. And so what I'm probably going to do is rescore it. Um, that part. Even though I... I don't like scoring. I find it to be the fiddliest, most... Like, it's not the fiddliest part. It is fiddly in a way I don't enjoy. Um, so which makes it, like, tough. And and it's always, like, hard when you, like, had something <laughs> under something and it worked really well and you liked it and the levels are set. And it's like, now I gotta go find something else with that other version in my head. 
which is probably going to be better than what I'm going to end up with. And so, like, I've got that to deal with. And on top of that, everything that I've tried to pull down to be like, oh, I like this. This might work with it. Like, I already used that in another place. And I don't want to reuse it. I was like, why are you letting people put up classical recordings on your sound, like, library if you can't detect that they've been copyright claimed by some you fucking said. random? <laughs> Come on, fishy. Like, from the Wakefield series. I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, I try not to come on here all, like, rammed up and pissed off, but that happened, like, right before I had lunch, and then I was trying to fix it, and I did not have enough time to actually fix it. And so, it's just still like that. And I feel annoyed. <laughs> yeah, I'll scare some bait. I think there should be some kind of I mean like God knows YouTube doesn't want to like add human labor into the equation because then they might have to pay someone for things so clearly they're not gonna fucking do that but like you ooh, you don't think you could like check some of these things against like a common library of like very common like classical music or things that get used a lot that are like 500 years out of fucking copyright and then go to the person whose copyright claimed on something that's that fucking common and say prove to us that you actually have the copyright to this. Like if you're going to copyright claim like Beethoven, then you better be able to prove it. You sure. And you should have to prove that that person is using your version. Because the copyright doesn't attach to the song anymore, it attaches to the recording. Well, if it's a different recording, there's no copyright. But the way their bullshit is set up, that, like, it just dings things based on, like, melody matching and stuff. And I'm like, well, you should melody match that shit against some fucking damn library. If you guys can scrape the whole fucking internet and take, like, ownership of everyone's fucking books and art, then it seems like you ought to be able to make a database of, like, music that doesn't actually fucking belong to anybody so that people should have to prove that it's their recording and not say, I own, a, I own all of Beethoven. You prove that I don't. No, fuck you. You prove it. You sure. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to rescore it, but I'm leaving the one with the <laughs> disputed claim on it. I'm leaving that shit up. I'm leaving it up and I'm gonna mm -hmm. follow it. I'm gonna follow up on it. I'm not gonna use it for the main video because I ain't got time for that kind of shit with that project, but I can make it a separate side project to tell you that you do not own all of Chopin. Whose name I'm not even sure I'm saying right. It looks like Chopin, but that's wrong. We got a claim on a generative patch on EMS is music that is created by random voltages. It's ridiculous. It's just like, I claim all of this thing. And like, you can't do that. Like, even under the bullshit system that we have now, which is like absolute and utter bullshit. No, you fucking don't. You That's fine.
Ryan, I sent a... Uh, I, I think considering that I am paying someone uh, for use of this library, I'm like, uh, it's on y'all to fix this and you need to go do that. Because, like, what am I paying you for otherwise? So I have gotten them involved. And we'll see. Because, like, I certainly would like to know if they follow up with that kind of stuff or not. Because I'm like, I did all the things that you said to do. I linked my channel to my account. I put your little code in the description. All of this stuff. And it's still dinging. And you're telling me there's no ding. You better get in there and look at this. Because the fuck did I give you money for otherwise? My brain is being so mean today, but I got an early Christmas present in the mail from my mom. A carbon steel wok with a lid. Oh! I think that we also had to put a handle on when we, um... When we got a wok. <laughs> and it was a little, it was a little confusing. You, did, you wouldn't think it would be, but it kind of is. Ugh... I'm just like, I don't want to be <laughs> having all sand up in my grits and shit. Uh, mm. uh, even though, like, <clears throat> I feel like if I was grumpy, I have every reason to be because it has been such a week. I mean, I if my, like, abdomen muscles could stop trying to turn my entire body inside out. I would just love that. I would love that so much. Pixie, hi! Like, what the fuck is your problem, body? Get it together. I mean, I should be happy that I was able to work on it at all, but... And I was until, like, this ding-dang bullshit happened, and now I just, like, I pulled, I was, like, I tried to pull three other different songs, and each one of them, I was, like, you already, like, I listened to it for a while, and then I listened to it for a while, and then I was, like, you already <laughs> used this. Come on, little peanut. Yes. Nancy! I'm hoping that, like, if people like this video, that some of them will feel like they would like to come be friendos and watch the Yakuza games with us. I think that would be, like, really super chill. Um... But you never know. I mean, people might hate it, or like, more likely, just it just won't do anything at all. But yeah, you never know until you try. So I really like my cast iron pan, so I'm hoping I'm adult enough to season a walk. I got you. I had. Yeah, I mean, I like, I like a cast iron pan, but, like, I, I accidentally let the last one get rusty, and so now I'm, like, a little, now I'm a little, like, am I a big <laughs> enough adult to have a pan like that? Maybe not. Oh, come on, fish. This is rude. I gave you special bait. How dare. <laughs> Every few months, one of us turns the wrong burner on and incinerates the seasoning, and we have to redo it. Mm. Mm. That's tough. <laughs> I did get the uh 
the snow melted, so I was thinking that I could put the sand into the metal um, garbage can where I'm going to store the oily rags. Oh! You sir. Ha! Got a shark! Got a shark! Got a shark! Got a shark! Woo! Look at him go! Look at him go! Get in the pants! <laughs> you don't put that shark up in his pants. This pants is like TARDIS, full on TARDIS pants. It has to be. Or I don't make no sense otherwise. Ugh. Hey, tiny fish. I think I'm gonna... Yeah. I'm like, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take your edible now. Because... I'm like, I keep being like, maybe finally... This like, evil cramping is over, but... Then it keeps being like, squinch. And I'm like, bitch, no, do not. And it's just like lightly threatening me. I don't want to be lightly threatened by my own body. That's rude. <laughs> hey, big boy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, I was gonna put the sand in the thing, so I have a place to put the rags, so I can actually start oil painting this weekend. Um, I think what I'm gonna start with is, uh, I bought this, like, painter's diary thing, that you're supposed to be able to swatch even oil paints into I'm skeptical um but supposedly you can do that so it would be nice to uh be able to swatch them out um and then have that be in something that is like easy to reference back to um you know if it ever dries which is is my concern um, they're like, it has glassine uh, interleavings, and I'm like, I'm not sure that's gonna matter with oil paints, but, uh, okay. I mean, it'll dry eventually, everything dries eventually, but, like, how much of a mess can I make until it dries eventually is the question. And the answer is a, a, a big one. Big old mess, probably. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen, um, but I thought I would like to try to, like, it does take a long time to dry, to, so, like, swatch it out, and then, um, do maybe, like, a, as I figured I would do, like, all the same colors, like, do all the reds, or, and then maybe like practice up like some kind of value study mm. just in reds or blues or whatever I'm using um to, to just get back into like using the mediums and stuff Yeah, I was telling Josh, I was like, if you don't do the layering right, the whole painting will crack. Uh, and he was like, what? And I was like, oh yeah, if you don't layer the oil paints in the right consistency and do the layers in the right order, 
with the correct consistency, within three to eight months of it being drying, the whole thing will crack. Like, it'll just crack. And not like pretty cracks like you get in like really, really oiled, old oil paintings. Like, the whole thing just cracks and falls off. Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, you it, you do you do uh, thick over thin, or like uh, they call it lean to fat, um, because if you paint a thin layer over a thick layer, the thin layer dries significantly faster, and then it will start to pull apart the thick layers and crack them. I remember being a kid and taking some painting I had done back to my uh, art teacher and her be like, oh yeah, shouldn't have done that. Yeah, it all like sh kind of shrinks up and you don't want, um, you don't want those top layers like shrinking up um, and like pulling on the, because like if you do like thick, thick, like Vincent Van Gogh like layers, that's a very long drying time. That's very long. That's at least six months, maybe longer. I did film, um, I did make, I filmed footage of the, um, nesting dolls and edited, edited, edited? Why is that word so hard? I did the edit and put it together, and it looks Yoosh. fucking crispy. It's like crisp and sweet, looks really good. Um, and I decided uh, to go ahead, oh, I was using a River Master, fucking whatever. Uh, walk booklet, stir frying is China's contribution to good living, C close quote, uh, okay. I mean, Walk booklet, I think you'll find that a number of things that we use every day were invented first in China because they've had a very long civilization there, including things like paper, um, which has been invented in several places over long periods of time, but, you know... What a weird thing to say about China. Some people don't think it counts until a white man invents stuff. Some people do seem to be of that opinion. Some terrible wrong people who are racist and sexist. Um, but yeah, it's uh That kind of leads into the thing I was I was thinking about because I said the thing about Van Gogh and his, his very thick paintwork. Um no wonder he was always, like, sending letters to Theo being like, Give us money! It's like, yeah, you used up all your money on putting on so much oil paint. Like, that is so much oil paint. It's so much paint. I don't think people understand, like, how much paint it is. Because we have acrylic paints now, and if you want to glip glop paint around, like, you can for $5. But, like, that is so much fucking oil paint. It's so much. Um, the blurb for one of these walks you see in yourself said that your family will be fighting over the walk in your will, and I was like, is that a threat? Jeez. 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 That's so odd. Give us paper. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was kind of wanting to make, um, one of the ideas that I have for, like, another video that, like, hopefully will be a little less time-consuming and or long 
but it's I I want to make a video mm -hmm. about Vincent Van Gogh um, so I took uh, video footage of um, the Starry Night cross stitch that I did because I might want to use it later if I end up doing that which I may not Is I kind of have like this these two like ideas about him which are basically like uh you know like just the influence of like Japanese prints on like him and like wider like western um art and stuff and how like when you don't just to quote my you know best art history teacher here but like when you don't know where something came from in art when you think oh well this movement or artists kind of arose out of nowhere no they didn't you just don't know you personally just don't know what the influence was because there always is one um but also like i think it's really important not to santa claus vincent van gogh because he was a real person and I think the, like, Santa Clausification, like, the, the turning this real person into this myth figure is, like, really insidious. And I don't like it. <laughs> I don't, like, I think it's just kind of sick to be, like, and then after he died people liked his paintings and so that made it all be worthwhile and it's like no it didn't like it's like you don't gotta make up stuff i don't know i just it just bothers me because it's like a human being lived and suffered and you like think that that was like his you know because there's a lot of like weirdness around like artists and like i think it plays into some of the reasons why people are like it's good for you to starve and it's like no it isn't and like unfortunately because of like I just, I just feel like, I don't know, it's really detrimental to artists to have these, like, ideas going around that it's, like, it's, like, good for us to suffer because it makes our art better, and, like, no, it isn't, and no, it doesn't. Yeah, it's just this enormous load of crap, like... I read this, like, hugely long biography of Van Gogh, um, some years back, and it included, like, all of his, like, letters to Theo, and, um, like, he had late-stage syphilis. What he needed was antibiotics, not confidence in himself. Do you know what I mean? Like, the suffering is the death. The suffering makes there be less art. Like, like I don't know. I just like. Also, Gogan, his horrible friend. Yeah, fuck Gogan. What a fucking butthole. Oh, hey, Mister. You don't seem yourself today. Did something happen? Oh. Yeah, my friend and I got into a fight. No, actually, he's not my friend. Not anymore. Well, I would like to, because, like, we've even had movies about Vincent and Theo, right? His brother. So, like, at least somewhat, Theo, I mean, not to normies but like to most people who like know anything about art in that time period like theo's involvement is like somewhat known but i'm like what about theo's wife what about vincent van gogh's sister-in-law because theo also had late stage syphilis and also fucking died of that and so the reason why we have van gogh in the position that we do is not even because of theo it's because of his wife, who did all of the, you know, and the, I believe, 
her family was like art dealers and they're the ones who like made this whole legacy like and that is not what people want to hear about you know that like van gogh was connected that like his brother sent him money that's how he was able to like continue to paint and like that's messy though we don't want to know about that part. I would like to know more about that part because it's interesting to me. But, like, that doesn't make a good myth, you know? Alright. Oh, no. He's not my friend anymore. Is she not getting along? He's the worst. He broke the toy you gave me. I don't need someone like that to be my friend. Oh, no. He broke your sweet potato? Did he break it on purpose? No, I don't think so. I mean, he did say he was sorry right away. He broke the sweet potato. Oh, we get some... Alright, it's time for some dadding. And you didn't forgive him? No. But that's only because that toy you gave me was really important. I loved my sweet potato toy. I finally got to make friends because of that sweet potato. You know, the thing I gave you wasn't a toy. It was just some junk I didn't want. Uh... Yeah, well, I wanted it. So you took good care of it, huh? It's your favorite sweet potato. Yeah. And you say you don't need your friend anymore? Are you sure about that? Huh? Sometimes, unwanted things can become really important for even the smallest reasons. You've seen that yourself. You might say you don't want your friend, but you can't just cut him out of your life like he's nothing. When all's said and done, friends like that often end up being what matters most. I... I should go say sorry. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. What am I supposed to say? <laughs> huh, you're kids. You'll make up before you know it, just by playing together. Really? He wants to make up with his friend, but I guess he doesn't know how. Maybe I can give him something to help. I should! I know what to do! Another sweet potato! <laughs> Alright. You said your toy was broken, right? Take this new sweet potato with you! Hmm. Hmm? That won't cut it, I guess. <laughs> what the heck is this? You always give me the weirdest stuff. Y'all, I've pinned this, but just so you remember, this game has a photosensitivity and epilepsy warning. So let's just, uh, everybody be aware. You think so? Thanks, mister. I'm gonna take this toy and go apologize right now. Goodbye, junk boy. Enjoy the junk. Did I pray at the shrine? Ooh, I don't think I did, because there's still jar meats. Jar meats! Meat of the jar. This meat is metal. Ooh, delightful. Alright. I will pray. Thank you. Okay. Alright, now I can go put my... Put my plan into action. Sir, you're gonna need to move, but okay, he's hung up on the building. I'm just gonna let him do it. Let him do what he wants. Alright. Give me more. I need all the paper. All the paper and kill will belong to me. They do actually stop you at a certain point, and that point is having 99 papers. What's going on here? Hey, someone's been firing a big ass cannon over by the river. They were on the other side in Mukurogai. 
Man, I know that place is basically lawless, but seriously. I had a nightmare the other day that I became sensitive to video games and had a seizure, which I guess really highlights my priorities. Oh, I would be so bummed. Because this is uh, a significant amount of my entertainment. How you doing, Megan? I'm I'm done being mad at the YouTube. I don't think you're mad. I'm just like I can't believe I have to do this over. Fucking minute and twenty seconds long. I will pray, and then I'm gonna purchase. Yes. Give us ginseng. Oh yes. All right. Now we're getting ready to cook. Getting ready. We're gonna make some money. I need my manure. Hang on. Ooh. All right. Okay, farm. How we doing? Give me all of your bounty. Ooh, everything's ready. Yeah! Alright. Farming plan. Uh, reset farm. Okay. I gotta set up my farm now. Okay. Man, this music's so good. Alright, what have I not done? Peppers, tomatoes, eggplants, carrots, garlic. Oh, God. All right, garlic. I see you. Damn. Put in the taro. What else do we got? What else do we want to do? Oh, I bet pumpkins. I bet pumpkins. Yeah. Give us another pumpkin. Alright. Green onion down there. And... Carrot. Daikon. Always need daikon. And a burdockery. And the rest. Just. Alright. Harvest speed extremely slow. Alright, thank you. Nice. Okay. Do we got eggs? Lord, I was born a scrambling man. All right. I'll check the orders once before we go, because I do want to go. I want to go see if I can get my sword up better and get some better swording. Oh, wait, what's this? I've been working hard. Maybe I should take a break. Okay. Hmm. Uncle Hajime? Hmm. Uncle Hajime? Huh? Uncle Hajime? Oh, uh, uh sorry, Haruka. I guess I was off somewhere. ADHD legend! I told y'all. You didn't hear me? Huh. I wonder if your ears are stuffed up. Maybe I should clean them? Hmm. Would you? おじさん。それじゃあ始めるね。わあ、結構あるね。おじさん、自分で耳掃除とかしないの？ああ、あまりしないな。だ。
メだよこまめにしないとわ僕に大きいのがある取れるかな Oh, no, no, こんなとこにもよいしょ。チーズサルカイキリエム。その痛かった。あ、あ、少し痛かったな。フォーシーズ、like what the。おかげですっきりした。それに。人に耳掃除してもらうなんて昔母親にしてもらって以来久々だそうなんだ私も昔お母さんによくやってもらったなもうやってもらうこともないんだねはるかのお母さんはどんな人だったんだ優しい人だったよとってもちょっとおせっかいなところもあったけど誰よりも私のことを知っていてくれてまさかこんな早くお別れすることになるなんて思わなかった<笑>はるかごめんねしんみりしちゃったねいや、okay、構わんむしろはるかの本音が少しでも聞けてよかったお前はどこか本心を隠す癖があるからなそそうかなああまあそれはお前が優しいからだろう悪いことじゃないただ俺でよければいつでも話しくらいはできてやるそれを忘れるなよため込みすぎるのも体に毒だからなおじさんうんありがとう Hey, I got points for the ears. Alright. Yeah, I'll look at the orders. I need money because I'm going to go to the blacksmith, so. Hi. I'm not paying the debt off yet. We'll do, we will do that, but later, once I have a real nice weapon. Oh. How much pickles? Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, fine. Please deliver. Eat the c a r n e t The sale was successful. Alright, I can do one more pickles. I will cook pickles. This is how I end up getting stuck at the farms. I'm like, okay, I'll just do one more order. One more. Just、so、for Haruka's business, and I want to help.、Yeah. Mm. So I'm making pickles. Yes, she has all. Mm. Uncle Hajime, I'm not sure that. s Okay. That's how we cut up. Sure. Thanks, Uncle Hajime. Pickle. Cracked cutting board. The light. Yeah, I'll take a look at the orders. What do we got? Orders. Thank you. Oh, sea breams. I got one of them. Pickles.
Okay. Take these pickles, sir. Just get one more manure. Oh, and pray so that we can make it today. That's why we pray. Do we have anything good? Kitchen upgrade, yeah. I'm looking at farm stuff though, okay. All right, we gotta wait, we gotta wait. Although, I do, I'm sorry, I need to peer this hole. Uh, sorry to the farm. Whoa. Garlic. Hey! Alright, I just got a bunch. Virtue and whatnot. Alright. And now. My brain finally processed that it's December the 1st, so I can start my advent calendar. Ooh! Is it like a themed advent calendar? One year, I bought, like, in January, I bought lipstick advent, an, a lipstick advent calendar from NYX that was, like, not, uh, nobody had bought it, and it was January, so it was on sale, and I got, like, a butt ton of lipsticks for free, I, not for free, but for cheap, and I did not, um, get the joy of opening them all like as as I went but I did get a butt ton of nice lipstick so I was pretty happy with it I wanted to get like a bourbon advent calendar but like that thing was expensive hmm hmm yo it's a meow meow Seems like a dangerous place for a cat. Oh well. She probably knows what she's doing. Oh, it's dice? Nice. Nice. <coughs> Meow. Oh no, kitty! Damn it! Hold on! I'll get you! <laughs> oh god! Meow. You're real clumsy for a cat, aren't you? He's down to his skivvies, y'all. Shake. She's not just soaked. She's dirty now, too. There's a bathhouse nearby. Maybe we should both go wash off. Mm. All right. Come with me. <coughs> Meow. Now just hold still. Y'all, he has done took this cat to the bathhouse. I'm not sure about this, Kiryu. I'm not sure about this. Ah, <sighs> doesn't like it. Cat, cat does not want. Don't struggle. I'm gonna clean you off. Ow! They don't like being bathed. There. That looks much better. Oh my god! Look at her! She's sparkling! Meow! Ha! Calm down now. Oh man, I haven't hardly barely been to Gion. 
Uh, give me that table. Can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quarter. Okay, got that. back here again. If it's your favorite spot, then it's your favorite spot, I guess. Just be careful, kitty. Thank you! Rapid Perry has contributed to the Watch the Have a Filmic Experience Together Challenge. Uh, if anybody else would like to donate, we are still going strong on that. <coughs> Meow. Kitty Ukazuma, cat rescuer! You have formed a bond with the filthy cat. I love you! Now the clean cat. Oh wait, can I talk to her again? Don't fall in again. Oh, Pixie has also contributed, thank you. Alright. I guess I should chip chop some wood, huh? Hey, man. Uh, hello. Ah, it's you again, boy. Feel up for some more chopping? Chip chop, chop chop, choppity chop chop some wood? Including what you've already done for me, I'm gonna need about 300 pieces total. What should I do? Do it. It's time to chop chop chop. I need that completion, man. I gotta get virtuous. Grab the axe! Get the axe! Oops. Get the axe reminds me of Mommy Dearest. Christine! Get the axe! had never seen that movie and I was like oh boy that is like classic queer culture <laughs> I went to this uh, a number of places there was at least one in Memphis and like one in uh, I think Atlanta and maybe somewhere else where like gay bars that I went to where they just like had a stream of mommy dearest just kind of playing on the wall Let's all hear it for the wood. Get shot. the pictures that's nice <laughs> have you done it hmm done what 
By my count, you chopped me over 300 pieces like I asked you to. Here, let me get you your share. Oh, hey, thanks, ma'am. Wow, 300 pieces of wood already? <laughs> See that? When you're really focused on your chopping, anything's possible. Thanks, boy. Thanks, boy. Hey, boy. This one voice line for Barkus and Yakuza a zero. He has two voice lines. One is, hey, boy. And the other one is, Rawr. Rawr. you know what? My back's feeling mighty better right about now. Oh, good for you, buddy. It always sucks. The, the amount of pe these are also the most middle-aged games with the amount of people who have thrown their back out. <laughs> Cause, uh, very middle-aged problem. Thank you very much for the broken compass. Pleasure doing business with you. Indeed. Now, if you don't mind, I got firewood to sell. See you later, boy. Yeah. But I still have not bonded fully. Well, he'll be back. Jar meats from the jar. Fresh sake from the jar. I will go to the smith. Take me to the smith, please. I do feel uplifted. I definitely feel better than I did, uh, cause I felt wretched, and so, like, now I'm just, like, if you could stop, like, gently threatening me, body, I feel like that would be better. See, I can't just stop here, I gotta go stock up. Oh, hey, guy. I didn't realize you were there. You gotta stock up. Hey. Oh, really? Hey, this is a good place to do this. Oh, come on. Come here, you. Ow. Pretty good to like level up the that cause uh the guns because you do have to shoot them a bajillion times. Hey, it's godly. I love it. I am a man of goodness. Thank you for the picture of the ghost. Alright. Hello, cranky man. What do you want? It's not a very welcoming environment. You gonna buy something or just stand there letting the flies in? Uh, I guess I'll buy something. What do you have? Hmm. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, I guess I'll get a bundle blade since I, I could use one of those. Forty underwears, please. She not just another looky loo. Maybe I wanted to let the flies in. Maybe so. Give me all your underpants, sir. Huh? Eh? I saw the way you checked the merchandise. You scrutinized weaponry the way a real samurai would. Well, for whatever it's worth, I am a real samurai. Ha ha ha, I don't give much of a shit about titles. Uh, okay. Plenty of so-called samurai been coming through here lately. Not, not a one of them has a real skill with a blade. Except maybe you. If I could sell my weapons to someone like you, ha! I think that'd make me happy. But it probably won't. I like being grumpy, okay? 
Uh, it's uh, quite a different attitude from earlier. I guess he's taken a liking to me. Thanks for your business. Come back again. I'll make sure to stack up the underpants. Uh, sure. Now we're now we have a bond. <laughs> gotta pray. Yeah, I gotta pray. So I can make it today. Hawk, hi! Thank you for contributing to the filmic experience. Yeah, I want to visit the shrine. What can I get? What, what do I... Oh. Mm, uh. Ooh, I gotta save up for the next farm level. Level my farm! Oh, stop doing that. Stop that. What the fuck is this? You got a problem, guy? Yeah. You. I think it's time you learned how to behave in public. Oh, you think you're gonna teach me, huh? Just fucking try! Okay. I'm sharp, baby! Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a load of underwear to deliver. Thank you very much. I'm busy, okay? I've got 40 underpants, and I need to give them to a man. Oh, there's a shiny thing, though. Gotta get that. Are we having fun here in the past? I think so. I, I am. I'm buying underpants. I'm taking the underpants to a new place. I unlocked ginseng, so I've put my ginseng plan partially into place. Um. <sighs> I don't know what other people are doing, but like some of the ways that other people are making money are I don't like to do. Um, or sometimes the ways that people, like, are like, oh, you should do this to cheese this part, because it's like, you know, sometimes you're just like, okay, I do need to just cheese this, because you are being so extra, um, by how much of the stuff that you want, um, alright, here we go, time to loincloth. I love that you have to put them all in individually. I think it's really good. I don't want to miss one. But I have my own little strategies for some of these things. And sometimes I just do it because I think it's funny. Donation. Smith me up, baby. Oh, yes. I hate for how slow the animation for picking up the shinies is. <laughs> Alright. Good. Okay, so... What do we got? Missile cutter. Can't make. Full. Like, what do I want to get is the question. Like, where do I want to go? This is where I want to go. These. But. These are like also quite decent.
Uh, the Masamuni, I think, is quite good, too. It's a good starter weapon, I think. What do I got? Alright. Yeah, I know about gear. I know about gear. I know. You do not have to tell me. I know all about this. Um. Alright, equipment. Okay, so I'm looking at a 667 attack currently. Alright, cool. I think I ended up farming the final encounter of the cave battle thing. Oh, I definitely was battle farming or farming the, the caves as well. There's like really no way around having to do that. Um, if you want to go for certain things. Gunman, so the swordsman attack needs to get better. Oh god, that's right, because it takes to here to get to rank two. RGG, what the fuck? What have you done here? This is not this is not balanced, but like whatever. It's fun, so who cares? Um Alright, sir. Hi. I'm back. Can you do something about this gun that I have? It's quite bad. Uh can we get a better gun, please? Because this gun just blows ass. It's so terrible. Um. Oh, fuck. Fuck! I didn't look at my gun. What do I got? Model 2, 80 blows. Okay, we can definitely do better than that. Um. This is what you need the money for. Partly. There's a bunch of stuff you need the money for. Like, you need so much money. So much money! Alright. Mm -mm -mm. No, gun. No, we need gun. Iron grinder. So I could make the high revolver. <sighs> Water shots. Cloudy skies. Winter winds. Can I get, like... Yes, thank you! It's like, can I get the details on the sigils or whatever? Capitalism was awful in the past, too. I mean, the only thing about capitalism that's even halfway decent is it's not feudalism, which clearly looks worse in an amount of ways. Um, yeah. Like, it's not the uh, extreme upgrade a lot of people think it is, but... At least I was allowed to move out of Alabama <laughs> to a different part of this country, you know. I can't just go anywhere I want, but at least I wasn't, like, required to stay in the city I was born in with my parents. Ugh. Rate of fire. Okay. New screws. Poor. I fucking serious. Okay, so we can't go that route. We can't get the water shot. We could get the cloudy skies. Okay. Okay, that's what we should do. I need screws. Alright. I need to see the, the man who has the, uh... Thank you. Alright. I gotta see the, uh, supplies man. Supplies man, do you have screws? Hello? Hello? Do you have screws? Oh! 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 Thank you. Look at all the thingies! I love thingies! Give me more thingies! Yeah! Thingies! I'd like to see all the thingies. Here are the- th Oh, yes! Okay!
Nice. Yeah, I know about the arena. I won't. Not gonna do it. Can't make me. Hello. I would like... A better... I need a better gun. You have to help me. Oh, no. Not that. Um... Like, have you seen this gun? It's wretched. I need help. Um, okay. Oh, that's not unlocked yet. Well, I don't have elegant hair ornaments either, but Winter Winds, I think, is quite good. I do. I, uh. Do I have anything... That I can put in the gun. Yeah. Alright, so let's see. Seals. Oh, for fuck's sake. Thank you. I do not like to save scum on stream, and so I will be doing relatively little of it, but I gotta tell y'all. If I try to make a fancy weapon and it messes up one of my seals, we are gonna save scum. Because, nuh uh. No, you fucking aren't. <laughs> uh uh. I'm. Oh, fuck. I didn't. I gotta equip. I can't remember if I have to equip it or not, but I need to equip it anyway, so I'm just gonna do that. Uh, 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 uh. Winter winds. Alright. Do we got anything that'll work with the winter winds? Hi. Anything with my wintery winds. I don't think you actually do have to equip it. I think you can just, like, apply seals to whatever you have in your pockets. Yeah, you can. Okay. What do we got? Greed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna want to use that. Please work. <laughs> Underpants. It did work. Nice. All right. That's helpful. Okay. Can we make anything else that's worth making? I don't care about ammo right now. Oh, yeah, all this locked shit. Okay. Um, alright. Fuck. What am I wearing? True grit emblem is pretty decent. Leather breastplate, leather gauntlets. Okay. Can we do better in a gauntlet? Uh, not really. Not really. Okay. That was what we got. No. That's just underpants. Okay. Wooden breastplate. I could get. But I do not have enough pelts or silk to do anything else. And I need gold for that one. Hmm. I mean, this is an improvement. It does give you the thief. That is also an improvement. Significant improvement. Ooh, okay. This is this is the route for right now. Thank you. Okay. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye, blacksmith man! I appreciate you. Alright, so now we should have much better of a time with... Okay. With the, uh, 
with the gun because it should fire a lot better. Oh wait, you want y'all want to go? Y'all want to go with the gun? Let's try it. Hell yeah. All right. Now, first of all, I have to say that was rude. Wow. Okay, the gun is better. Just stand there and point, man. It's a good idea. <laughs> I love it. Just pointing and pointing. <laughs> All right. Attack, seal, amber. I have to say, y'all, not very good. Not very good. I feel like we can do better. Oh, wait. What's going on here? How do I? There we go. Watch yourself, Sensei. Please. I always do. Oh my! The, the mustache that we have here is truly something. Look at the stash! It's, it's, ex, it's exuberant. Huh? No, I'm serious. Foreigners aren't exactly a welcome around here right now, especially not by the, uh, Kakume Joy. Or, uh, Jo. Kakume Joy. The who? Kakume Joy. They've been killing pretty much any and all foreigners as of late. They're a group of Sono Joy, um, uh, Joy? Joey. It would be jo Joy. Yeah. Sono Joy. Idealists who ideal essentially see foreigners as pests. If you're not from around here, then you'll likely get a sword or two pointed your way. Did he mug Magnum PI for that stash? It's so exuberant. It's like it's like a it's like a happy dance. It's just it's just doing its thing. It's out there. It's like everyone look. It's so good. It's just like. It, it knows who it is. It's carrying itself with confidence. Uh, I, I, thumbs up on the stash. I feel like this man maybe should pay more attention to his surroundings, though. Um, that might be good, but the the stash is quite good. Um, this man's uh, environmental awareness not so good. Ha. Well, let them point. I love this country, and I'll give everything I've got for it until my last breath. Surely these idealists will understand that. Perhaps they just need someone to explain. I don't think you're taking this seriously enough. Your enthusiasm is charming, though. I'll give you that. Just be careful, all right? Don't go wandering off to dangerous places by yourself. Please. Listen. When you go someplace and you ain't from that place and somebody tells you not to go wandering off by yourself because it's not safe, someone who lives there, you should listen to that. Because if you don't... Why wouldn't you listen to that? <laughs> the heck kind of doof is this? Sir, you're wasting this good mustache. I expected more from you, frankly. I'll see you tomorrow. I mean, hopefully. That kid worries too much. Any hoodle, I should probably get home. Maybe I'll take a shortcut. Creek is not listening to nobody. Sir! I didn't check the weather report, but I'm just gonna go ahead and climb, climb this mountain in the off-season. I'm sure it'll be fine. Not even five minutes, and he's already ignored his student's advice. Still, I'm worried about this, uh, Kakume Joy, uh, group myself. Might be a good idea to follow him. I'm like, what is the translation of that? Okay. So, 
the Sono Joy was a Sono Joy was a four character compound phrase used as the rallying cry and slogan of a political movement in Japan during this time period. It oh, it means revere the emperor, expel the barbarian. So, yeah, that seems bad for that mustache man guy. Kiryu, I do not care about Arroyo, I just have to say. Uh, sorry to her for being weird. Oh, yeah, give me everything, man. Nice. <laughs> Just hanging out, getting my pickles and my my stew. Thanks, man. All right. I'm like, how far can we get before I gotta go back to the farm and stock up on money? Uh, okay. I need to go this way. I get up. Is this the creepy? This the creep? Yo, we got a crappy bar. Uh, just order something. Oh, wait. I just ate here, crappy bar. Did I? I don't know. Uh, what's your deal, man? This is the chicken racing setup they've got. Top birds from across the country are brought here to see who's the fastest. Man, do these races get heated. People go wild for this. You should check it out sometime. It's weird. It's almost like I came straight here for this. On purpose. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. I did. Is Ishin the most chickeny Yakuza game? Because I've played all the way through Gaiden, and, like, it's not chickeny. So, you don't worry about that one. It's off the table. Is this one the most chickeny Yakuza game? Because it might be. Is this your first time here, boss? Welcome to Chicken Races. We bet wooden tags on one of the cluckers old places. Damn fun. How about giving it a shot? I need tags. I need... A hundred tags? Okay. Thank you. I will play. Let's do it. Let's go. That's the spirit, boss. Enjoy. Okay. All right. I know how. I know how to chicken race. All right. I gotta buy tickets. So who's expected? Fluster clock. Hmm. But King. Hmm. Hmm. That's. Ugh. So we got. It would seem like... Alright, let me buy something. I'm gonna put 10 on Kachin Kok... Uh, Kachin. Uh... Because this prediction looks kind of bad. To me. Um... Kind of expecting Apollo to win, it looks like. But, like, look at the King of Wings. His condition is down, but he's got three double circles. I don't know. Oh, yeah, confirm. First and second places. Alright. Here's where I'm gonna go wild. Um. King of Wings. Alright. Yeah. Mm hmm. I confirm it. I don't even know what half of these things do, to be really honest with y'all. But here we go. Check tickets. Okay. So, 
Oh, I didn't realize I put it on the two. Whatever. It'll be fine. Um, finish buying. Uh, start. It's gonna be a free-for-all. Alright, we're going. Everyone's in place. Welcome to Yakuza, y'all. It's Asian. We're doing chicken racing. I feel like this is better than the chicken racing they had in 5-2. Look at this light. Oh, man. Oh! I think I get money! Yeah! Look at this set dressing! Like, the chickens look, like, delightful. The set dressing is wonderful. The Look at the rope that they're using, and they've got, like, the little tie-downs, even. And, like... Look at this chicken! Hell yeah! Okay. Long distance. Alright. Thigh will be done. Ooh. Flapper dashers looking like an interesting choice. Okay. So, I'm gonna spread out here. Give 10 to flapper dasher. Right. And now I'm gonna buy this one, which I think I understand how this works, but I'm not 100%. Um... Past results. Alright. Let's do... Little tea cake. And... Poultry offering. Alright, I confirm you. Let's go. Start it. Oh man, it looks so fucking good! They put a ridiculous amount of, like, presentation into the chicken racing, and I just could not be happier. It's the long distance opening, y'all. It looks like it's gonna be a free-for-all. It is very cute. Just like, all these like, beautiful textures, like this beautiful ass game, look at this. I think my people are doing bad. I forgot who I put money on. Oh, it tells you at the bottom. Oh shit! I should have put, damn it. I can't believe you did me like this poultry offering. Is he coming up? Not fast enough. I don't think I got nothing there. Man! Oh, look at him go! Alright. I'm down tickets, chickens. Alright. You know what, Sneaky Bird? I'm gonna try you. And then I'm a Quintilla on Foul Temper and the Colonel for 10 points. Let's go! Start the race! Come on, the Colonel! I don't remember the rest of your names. <laughs> Short distance open. Go, go, go. Talons at the ready. Three, two, one. Go. All right, one and five. And then three also. I don't know if I get anything for that. No, because the first and second have to be... God damn! Pan is partially seasoned. Nice! You got this. You got this. Ooh. Alright, alright. I'm going for poultry offering again. I have to give him a chance. 
Alright. Quintilla. I keep doing this, although it's a terrible idea. Um. Ooh. Okay. This is just, just awful, and I shouldn't do it, but I'm gonna. Nobody can stop me, is the thing. Oh, um, there's a schedule? Whoa! Alright, start. So much inside the chicken racing, y'all. It's gonna be a free-for-all. It's a long-distance open for common birds. Everybody ready? Get ready. Cluck, cluck, bitch. Let's cluck it up. Give me some money. Oh, I put three at the top twice. Whoops. Come on, poultry offering. Like... Justify my faith in you, poultry offering. No, come on, poultry offering is doing bad. Poultry, why? <sighs> you got tired, y'all. I get tired too sometimes. They all got tired. Well, that went poorly. But it would have paid out so good if it had worked. I'm going all all long shots until I run out of tickets. That's my goal. All right. So buy a single win, sneaky bird. I pick you. Confirm. All right, Quinella. Hell unshelled, huh? All right. Do it. All right, I'm done. I don't remember what I bought. Did I pick a first place one? I don't remember, y'all. Oh, it's the short Kamigawa Memorial for rank twos. Wow. Y'all, we are moving up. Talons are at the ready. Let's go. Baby! Chickens! Yes! Oh! Oh! No, Sneaky Bird! Why? <sighs> he fucked me over! Nothing. Sneaky Bird, how could you do this to me? Your name is Broth Baby! I got a bet on Broth Baby. It's too good. I, I can't just bet five, so this is it. Broth Baby, or we have to quit. Start. We can only play through one reel of money, because I don't have that much. I thought maybe one of the long shots would pay out, but then they didn't, so. Whoops. The birds are in place. Ready, go! Come on, Broth Baby! Oh, Broth Baby, do you suck? Oh, oh, Broth Baby! Oh, Broth Baby, go! Go, Broth Baby! No, no, no! Hell on shell kicking my ass! Broth Baby, come on, bring it in! No, he got tired. Well, sometimes I get tired as well. Well, that's all the chicken we can do. Goodbye. And that's the chicken racing. How'd it go, boss? You pull out a win? Yeah, I guess I got lucky. That is, why would you lie? Oh, ho, and on your first try and all, you might just be a natural, boss. You think so? Not just anyone can look past the feathers and into a clucker's soul. You got the gift, boss. The gambler's gift. <laughs> All right. Next time you stop by, I'll give you some more advice, boss. Count on it. You didn't give me any advice yet. We have bonded. Now we are bros. 
We're gonna be bros with everyone, including the sweet potato kid, the cat, everyone bros. That's that that's this game. You know when the Smash Brothers was like and everyone was there? Bitch, everyone is here and we are all bros. Ooh, what the heck is happening? Alright, what do we got? What do we got? We got foods. We got that arms guy. Fermented goods. You know, I could use some plums. I could use some plums. And probably some rice. Alright, let's head up to the top. I could also dance the buyo dance, which is important for stuff. What? Y'all got a problem? Do we got a problem? I don't think we have a problem anymore. Right in the butt. Who isn't dead? Oh, you got buds? No, you don't. <laughs> Alright, the quick fire is very good. I'm the goodest man. I don't know if you knew that. What's going on over here, man? Hmm? Hey, what are you doing, man? Careful! What's going on over there? I, the nosiest man in Japan, will check it out. Ooh. I'm gonna send Josh a text real quick, y'all. I'm gonna ask him to do something for me. I don't know if he'll see the text. He will. He will if he if he sees it, but he may not see it. But I'm gonna ask him anyway. Will you? Oh, that says. Oh, that doesn't say that. I love you. Thank you. I, he may bring me a beverage. If he gets my text. If he doesn't get my text, then I won't have a beverage. But I'll have to live. I mean, I have a beverage. But I wanted a different beverage. So I'll have to just live with the beverages that I already have. Which is two. Um, but I want a different one. Because I haven't felt good. And now the weed's kicking in. And I want a different beverage, okay? I don't know why I'm acting like, um, y'all would tell me not to have another beverage. Like, I just did my hydration check. <laughs> and I'm stretching now. Um. Excuse me. But, I guess because I thought it was funny. That's why. Stretch. Okay, and I sat up. Um, cat news. Uh, what? Oh. Hey, y'all need to get shot a lot with a gun? I can sure help you with that. Look at what a good, helpful man I am. No chance at all. Oh, hey. I didn't realize you were over there. <laughs> Ooh, and I got a morb. That was very good. I will not have any mercy. Like, who told you to run your goofy ass over here and bother me? Nobody. You got what you got. <laughs> cat news. Okay. Um, the cat news. Meow, 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 meow. Cat news. The cat news is, um... Well, since we had our last cat news, and I kind of was thinking about it and speculated. <sighs> Y'all, menopause is embarrassing. Um, like, speculated that Reginald might be not having after food hangries where he's, like, mad. He does get mad if he thinks the food is late. That's, that's the hangries. But after the food, I'm like, why is this cat freaking out? And then I speculated, 
when I was talking to y'all that maybe he was like having the hot he was like really hyped because he loves meat and the time that he gets to get his like meats and gravies that's the best part of the day and then he's just like I think he's just ultra hyped um and like kind of freaking out because he's so excited that he got to like eat wet food again because he's a little bit of a simple boy um he just like he loves his wet food and he just wants to eat it um but uh so i had told josh that haha -ha, and then i was kind of like hmm i wonder if that's true and so today I suggested that when he was, like, having his meat hype, that we, like, drag his toy around. And it's a little unfortunate because he tends to get his food around when we get, at least, are having breakfast. So, I did have to, like, do a few loopy loops while he was, like, uh, in, in lieu of immediately eating breakfast. But, like, it was, like, five minutes. It wasn't that big of a deal. And, like... It seemed like it gave him something to, like, concentrate his meat hype on. And then, like, we managed to get him through to, like, his snoozy time. Because he, he, he's all like, ah! And then he falls asleep. Um, like, every day. Every time he gets, every time he gets meat. Um, he's, like, so stoked. Y'all. He's so fucking stoked. And, um, it's, it's, like, really sweet if you look at it a certain way. Um, like, it's, he's a genuinely sweet guy. But, like, you know, not when he's, like, making Foxy cry. That's not sweet. Um, but, you know, we all have to deal with sometimes the cat is being in a little bit too much. Um, so we just pull him off her, but, like, I was, like, we got, managed to get him settled down into sleepy time without the, like, jump on top of Foxy phase, and I was, like, ooh, this is probably not gonna work every time, but if it works some of the time, that would be better, so, um, I felt, like, pretty good about that, and then, um, I just don't want him hassling Foxy. Um, like, I feel like we're very generous with, like, giving him just about anything he could ever want. But, like, sometimes what he wants is to shove Foxy's entire head inside his mouth. And he just simply cannot have that. <laughs> Hashtag peace for Foxy. Like, I mean, can Foxy please just, like, she's just sitting there, man. Like, why are you bothering her? It's because she's nice. Because Tifa hates him, and if he if he comes within like five feet of her, she's like very aggressive with him, and he's legitimately kind of freaked out by her, even though he's twice her size. So he is a full wiener, okay? Like he is scared of Tifa, Tifa's tiny self. He is terrified of her. Um, Tifa also kind of beats up on Foxy, but we don't let her do it either. We like make her stop too. Um, and Foxy just is nice and wants to, she just wants to sit next to them. <sighs> I just wish they would be nicer to her. Tifa kind of sounds like an icon. I want to be, uh, to grow up to be like her. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you remind me in the Discord, I'll dig up this, uh, video that I have of, like, Tifa wrapped, like, when she wrapped herself in a, uh, in a rug like it was a cocoon and then came out <laughs> like Josh put up these pictures and Facebook kind of made it into a movie and put weird music under it and then I grabbed it down and put it on my YouTube <laughs> very good but um Tifa is she still hates Reg and always will she's just she only likes mom and dad and like sometimes she's she's just a little grumpy you know and like she's just a little weird she was taken away from her mommy too soon like when i got her she was so tiny 
Um, now I only adopt adult cats. Um, for a bunch of reasons. But, like, at the time, she was a kitten. Um, so I've had her since she was a baby baby. Um, to the point where I think Tifa might think that I'm her actual mother. Like, like that I, you know, am some kind of weird cat that, like, birthed her. I think she thinks that. I think the other cats know I'm not their actual biological mother. <laughs> I don't know if Tifa knows that. <sighs> Reg is a good little guy, but I can't blame Tifa for not enjoying his energy. Yeah, but, like, Tifa hated Sparkles. Tifa hated Hodge. Tifa just hates other cats. Um, <laughs> and, like, one thing that's been really good, though, is that Tifa has been coming out more, which to me says that she's, like, less, less angry because she's not hiding as much. She's coming out. She's looking out the windows. Um, there's no stairs, which I think the stairs were kind of hard for her because, like, I just feel like she can't see too good, and that makes the stairs kind of hard. But there's no stairs. She kind of go wherever she wants. And, um... So we're seeing her more, which is nice. And, like, um... I think she went up to Josh's mom and, like, sniffed her f her fingers. Which, um... And I think she might have even let mom pet her a little. Which is wild. Because, like, Tifa hides from people. Like, she doesn't, she doesn't, like, hiss or anything at people, but if she sees the people, she's like, no, 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 and she just, like, runs under the bed. No! Um, but, like, this is the first time since she was, like, a kitten that I've seen her, like, willingly go up to a people and accept a very little amount of petting before being like, no! And then running away. <laughs> So, uh, that was, like, kind of fun. Um, she did sit on Adam's lap once when Adam was staying with us. Um, that's Josh's brother. But I think, she, because they kind of favor each other, I think she maybe thought it was Josh. <laughs> because at a certain point, she was like, wait a minute. Hey! <laughs> and then she ran away. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually some level of evidence that cats do think we're big weird cats, so it's uh, entirely possible that she thinks you're her mom. Yeah, I think she does. Um... <laughs> Shit. Uh, I guess I'll just go back to the broke-looking Ronin. But he's really nice fabric on him for being broke. Uh, Shit, we gotta get a move on. Hey, what do you think you're looking at? I'm the scary guy. Aw, oh, damn it. We're busted. Hmm? Oh, yeah, he's he's uh, Shinsengumi now. Uh, what the hell are these guys doing? That's why they yell at us and bring us mice, because they don't understand why we're so bad at cat. Yeah. Foxy, um, has been sitting in the crow's nest of the uh, cat tower and enjoying the view, which is nice. A squirrel came very close to her, and she's been very excited about the window ever since, um, which is really nice to see. Um, these cats will drink a cat water fountain completely dry in, like, three days. It's, it's astonishing. Like, they are hydrated, y'all. These are hydrated cats. They, it's like a running water fountain. Man, they can empty that thing in like two to three days. They just they just love that shit. Screw it. We got no choice. If we've been made, this has to stay under wraps. I'm not here to arrest you or anything. This isn't my concern. Just let me pass. I love that getting cats to drink water is so important. Oh, yeah. They love that thing. Like, oh, my God. The, the running water fountain is like an incredible hit at our house. Tifa's always been a bit of a water baby. Like, she loves running water. She used to like to come when I would, like, try to take baths and, like, read a book or something. She would come and sit on the bathtub edge and dip her paw in the water. And she'd be like, tap, tap, tap. 
flick. Tap, tap, tap. Flick. And I'm just like, Tifa! <laughs> but yeah, she loves getting inside a bathtub. She loves any kind of drippy faucet. She's just like, oh, heaven. Not happening, asshole. We're under strict orders from the boss. Oi. Now, what in the Sam Hill's going on here? Kit! Boss? This guy saw the hardware, but don't worry. We're about to kill him. I screwed up. Forgive me, boss. Uh. Easy now. Everybody makes mistakes. What matters is how you handle yourself once it happens, you follow. Now, I did say to keep this here operation on the down low. I guess I should be doing the southern accent. This looks like what this is calling for. Alright. This means taking any missteps in stride. Being discreet. Right. Uh, yeah, of course, boss. Sorry. So enough. Hmm. Reckon it ain't no different either way. You boys carry the goods back to the hideout. I'll have a chat with my new friend here. Right away, boss. Just, just, just break the seal on the full country. You just do it. Just do it for this man. Just give him the full Alabama treatment. Afraid I can't just have you mosey on with this little encounter, boy. So, what do you plan to do about it? <laughs> <laughs> no need for hostilities. If I was planning to draw on you. You'd know it. Truth is, I am a merchant. One who fancies himself able to fashion a fair deal for all parties. You want me to make a deal, Monty Hall? My crew and I got ourselves a little hole in the wall around here. If you'd be so kind as to follow me. Hmm, a merchant who's stockpiling that many firearms. He'd be an inconvenient enemy. All right, let's talk. What's all this? I like trained myself out of that accent so hard, it's hard to go back into it. Uh. <laughs> Welcome to my place of business. Allow me to introduce myself. Mm -hmm. I go by Mr. William Bradley. What shall I call you? I'm not so sure I want to give you my name. <laughs> <laughs> Negotiations are built upon trust, man. Keep your lips sealed if you like. I assure you, I got ways of digging up dirty truths. Saito Hajime? Good. First name Hajime? Oi. Good. Add it to the list, would you? On it, boss. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, Hajime. Uh, you know the phrase brass tacks? Here's where we get down to them. What I need from you is to forget what you done saw on the street corner today. Now, normally, I'd estimate the price of a man's silence terms a coin. Something tells me, though. You might find this a little more persuasive. Eh? What? A, a gun? <laughs> <laughs> Top of the line piece. Nobody else is packing a heater like that in the land of the rising. I understand. You're not trying to bribe me. You're trying to incriminate me. If you paid me, I could still turn you in. With this in my possession, though. I would have to answer for it. Yes. <laughs> yes. You are damn sharp, Hajime. If you're that quick on the uptake, this won't take long. I wasn't going to tell anyone in the first place. And I don't need this. I've got my own gun. Eh? A man who's already armed and dangerous? You know, I think you and I might be fast friends. I don't think we'll be friends at all. If that's everything you have to say, I'll be going. <sighs> Hmm. Have it your way, then. Boss. What have you got? Oh-ho, is that right? What's 
What is this? Begging your pardon, but it seems as if we might have another matter to discuss before I see you on your way. What do you want now? Yes. You're Saito Hajime. Guest of the Teradaya over in Fushimi. If rumors to be believed, you a veritable devil with that sword. Mm. And to top it all off, you're with the Shin Sangumi? Now, ain't that interesting, as all get out. So while you kept me busy, your men went looking for information on me? Yeah. Standard procedure. I like to call it the Merchant's Salutation. Hmm. That said, there are some things beyond even the eyes and ears of my boys. You ever heard of the, uh, Uriyama Company? Uriyama? No. I figured as much. That's the handle of the Denethese who killed a man who was like a brother to me. There's but one reason I planted my roots in this territory. Revenge on every last one of them sons of bitches. My brother was Japanese, but he never treated me like no outsider. I love that man. And I was there the day the company came, and in cold blood shot him down. Mr. Saito Hajime of the Shinsengumi, I reckon you cross paths with them loyal Shishi on the regular, don't you? Please, if you hear even the whisper of a whisper about the Uriyama Company, I need you to bring it to me. I ain't asking for free. I got money. Weapons. Anything you want. It's yours. Save it. I've also seen someone who was like family to me murdered before my eyes. I understand how you feel. But I'm not a mercenary. I don't take payment to help black market dealers avenge their dead. Surely there must be some way for us to come to an agreement. Please, sir. Our bosses, on our boss's behalf, we're begging you to help him. He's a good man, really. He provides us with food and shelter and pays us generously. Pfft, knock it off, boys. I know we've got no right to ask you, but you're the best chance he has, Saito-san. All we can do is beg and bow our heads, please. Calm down, both of you. I'll see what I can do, alright? Don't expect much. I've got a lot going on, and i never heard of these guys before. If that changes, I'll let you know. Hajime, I'm in love with you. At first sight, like everyone else. Thank you. Thank you so much, Saito-san. Hey, boss. If Saito-san's getting in with us, why don't you teach him some of your techniques? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> now there's an idea. Hajime, you may carry a piece, but how well can you use a thing? Huh? How well? I don't know. I mostly just point and shoot. No. No. No, no, no. I can't have you firing off like some hillbilly with a pea shooter. Guns are work of art. I give all my boys armaments, but it's the know-how that really lets them protect themselves. So, what? You also give them target practice? Yes. Haha, -ha, what, what good is no... <laughs> yes. What good is knowing how to shoot a bottle or a stuffed dummy? No, I like to keep things practical here. Hey, why don't we all welcome Saito-san to the gang by taking him on? Ah. Not a bad idea. Load your chamber, Hajime. I'll give you some pointers as you take him on. You're going to teach me better gun techniques? Fine, I'll go along with this. Okay. Y'all ready? Draw. There's no target practice, we're just going to shoot each other. That's good. That'll work. Alright. Okay. I forgot about that. So, is that all I'm supposed to do? Alright. I like that. Great. Great. Starting to see how there's more to a derringer than pointing and shooting? Yeah, actually. Firearms might even have as much depth to them as swordsmanship does. Oh no, I'm dropping everything, y'all. 
Hell, gravity is against me. I got a smear on my glasses. Everything is sad. Ah, it's the sadness. I gotta fix it. I did paint my fingernails, though, and I'm very uh, pleased. I don't always have time to do that, but... I would rather have them painted, but I just can't always find the time. Or, you know... Battery power, mental ability, or whatever. The will. Ha ha! Now that's what I like to hear, Hajime. And this is only the beginning. Mmm. I'll come back. We'll help you however we can, too. Please, just try to find information for the boss. Alright, I'll let you know if I come across anything. My thanks. Feel free to come and go from this place as you please from now on. Uh. Oh, and one other thing. A lot of goods pass through our fingers down here. My boys are fledgling traders in their own right. Might score yourself a deal. Talk to them if you're interested in a bit of bartering. Or if you're just in the mood to shoot the breeze. Got it. I'll keep that in mind. Good. See you down the road, Hajime. Goodbye. I was just trying to go get some pickles. And this man has waylaid me. You look like you know how to shoot people. What the hell kind of thing? Okay. Good. What? Who are you? I'm not even trying to worry about you right now. <gasps> Meow. Oi. Hey, are you a right there, cat? <coughs> He's hungry. I could give it some fish, right? Should I give him? I give him a goby. Boy. Hey, try some of this. Oh, look at the baby! Oh my God! Chomping. He loved it. <laughs> Feeling better? You'll have to get your own from now on, though. Give the cat a fish, he eats for a day, and so on. <laughs> You're not listening to me. Oh, we've bonded with the hungry cat! I knew this was the right way to go. Oh no, the Ejanaika! There they go! That song! It's haunting me! Ejanaika, Ejanaika! Ejanaika, Ejanaika! Yai, yai, yai! it again. Hmm? Ooh. Are you alright, ma'am? Oh. I'll be fine. Those dancers just bumped into me. Ow. What a total lack of consideration. They can't just Asia Nika their way out of this. Boy. Hey! All of you! You knocked down an old lady! Huh? Huh? What do you want? You need to be careful about where you're dancing. One of you knocked down an old woman. <sighs> Why are you being a wet blanket, man? We're trying to ease your out here. This 
guy obviously has no interest in protesting. He's only doing this because it's in fashion. What kind of movement has this become? Well, you're gonna get that cure to you when anything gets big. Hey, clear the street if you're not gonna dance. You're either an Asia Nika or an Asia Nina. <laughs> Is that all you're here for? Dancing? Oi. To tell the truth, I was also hoping to kick the shit out of somebody like you. Where are you just? That's funny. Bloody. Thank you. <sighs> you gotta be Asian night kidding me. Are you done? Yeah. Here, take this and we'll go. Oh, sorry for everything. Thanks for the fabric, man. That was kind of you, a samurai. Thank you. Yeah. Don't mention it. This Ijanaika thing has really gotten out of hand. Yeah. Perhaps, but I understand them in a way. I've never seen times like these before. Everyone is out of their minds with worry. For themselves. For the country. Mm. But maybe with samurai like you around, there's a bit of hope for us. <laughs> hmm. Give me too much credit. She's right. With the whole nation in turmoil, it's only natural that people would start acting strangely. Maybe it's unfair for me to reject everything about Isha and Aika. Yo, he's gonna go straight. He's, he, they let, he let them hypnotize him one time already. Don't get hypnotized again, can you? Ooh. Okay, I just gotta pray five more times. That's pretty good. Oh, no, I'm gonna keep all that. What is going on here? Hmm? That guy looks familiar. Oh, no, it's that foreigner. Wait, that's... Well, what do you know? Just the man we've been looking for, and he came right to us. We're the Kakume Joy. And if you ain't from around here, we got no choice but to make sure you're dead and gone. Now, what kind of logic is that? Huh? Huh? My name is Creek. I've come to Japan to share my country's knowledge of agriculture. Frankly, this place is a tad behind. A little help from me will do wonders for this place, truly. For the sake of this marvelous country and its farmers, I simply cannot die here. So please, hurting me is really hurting you. <laughs> Get a load of this guy. Cram it, old man! This country's way better without scheming little chumps like you. You're just looking to line your pockets by pulling the wool over our eyes, right? Why the hell should we trust a single thing that you say? But, really, I have this country's best interests 
at heart and end. Shut it, outsider scum. All right, boys, let's get this over with. Hey, hold on. Who are you? Word on the street is a bunch of extremists have been going around killing foreigners. Is that you guys? What if it is? Then I'll have to stop you. Great. The outsiders already got this one fooled. Traitor, this one dies too. Sorting is very slow right now. I'll take it. to kill foreigners like this what good easy we don't need them and we're getting rid of them hmm it's a pretty big statement it's a lot to be learned from other cultures you know it could help Japan for generations to come get real the only people that are gonna help us are the Japanese plain and simple you try and get in the way of that, you'll wind up buried along with the old man. We'll hit you with everything we have, and don't you forget it. Whatever, man. Thank you. Uh. Sure. Are you alright? Yes, thanks to you. Please, call me Creek. I teach agriculture nearby. I'm Saito. Sorry for my fellow countrymen's behavior. I hope this won't change your mind about the rest of us. Ha! Nonsense! You're Japanese too, after all, and you stuck your neck out for me? No questions asked. I don't really understand their hate for those of us from overseas. Don't you don't? I mean... Maybe he doesn't. He doesn't seem to understand a number of things. <laughs> Mustache grooming? Yes. Why he shouldn't be walking around in dangerous areas where he stands out? No. One thing at a time, I guess. I'm sure they'll understand me once they see how much I care. I truly believe that. Fact of the matter is, they want to do what's best for Japan, too. You might be right, but... Still, it's kind of sad that people who believe in the same thing can't believe in one another. Yes. But I would just love for men like them to see eye to eye with men like me one day. In fact, nothing would please me more. Well, it's a noble thought, but you shouldn't put yourself in danger like that. I try to avoid being reckless from now on. If you see those guys again, run. Not everyone's willing to hear you out. Of course. Thank you, Saito-san. It's nice to know there are people like you out there, too. Farewell. Buddy. Here's hoping Creek keeps himself out of trouble. I don't, I don't know about, I don't know. I don't know that he's gonna do that. A rusty spring. Ah, excuse me, good sire. Hmm? Huh? 
Are you talking to me? <laughs> Indeed! I have a question for you. May I see your sword, perchance? My sword? Why? Ah, please! I really must see it! What's with this guy? Some kind of sword thief? Nah, I doubt it. Maybe he's some famous swordsmith. Could he have spotted something that's wrong with it? Fine. Let's look. Oh, you please. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Ah ha 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 ha. Man, I feel like they done caught me. I'm a little dirty here. Just as I suspected, this is a fine sword indeed. The polish is downright gleaming. It's so well cared for and absolutely amazing. I don't know. He's always a bit of a weirdo. Yeah, so something wrong with it? Mm -hmm. What? Wrong? No, I wouldn't say there's anything wrong. You can be honest with me. I won't get offended. These things can be the difference between life and death. I'm not sure what to tell you. I don't have any sort of expertise in swordcraft. Tiny. What? You're not an expert? Then why did you want to see my sword? Oh, I'm just a fan! <laughs> I see. Bye then. Ah, please! Please wait! Now what do you want? If... If you would be so kind, could you please show me more swords? You just want to look at swords? Yes, I I collect katakanas as a hobby, and yours is exemplary. I got it. It's got a certain luster to it. I've never seen one so enchanting. Swords. Swords are living beings. The greatest are drawn to certain types of individuals. And I can tell you're one of those rare fellows. Three sword style. So if you don't mind, I'll ask you to bring me an ebony sword. Not to keep, of course. I just want to see it. Well, I appreciate the compliment, but still. And I'll reward you well, of course. Should you bring me each of the swords I wish to see, you can take one of my treasured blades for yourself. Oh, wow. Just to look at swords? It's fine. It's not a bad deal. I'll show you an ebony sword if I ever find one. Truly? Hee <laughs> hee, I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control, and I really like it. Four swords. Where the heck in the heck am I? Oh, I see. <laughs> what? Auto-targeting got a little confused there for a second. That's fair. Sometimes I also get confused. Not more attack spheres. Come on, man. I'll take the lime powder, though. What's going on here? Darn. It seems I'm all out of options. Hey, is something the matter? You run, uh... Shikokuya, right? Oh. Oh, Saitohan. I'm fine, but... Actually, you might just be just the person I need. Uh... For what? Would you mind entertaining someone for me? Yeah. And who would this be? Mm. Kanda-sensei, a well-known master of the arts. He's staying at my inn, but right now he has nothing to do. Yeah. Master of the arts, huh? Shouldn't someone more, I don't know, refined entertain him? Mm. That's the thing. His reputation precedes him, and everyone I've asked is too intimidated. I really don't have any other options. So they're afraid of making mistakes in front of him? I still don't see why you want me to do the job. Well, for one, you're very respectable. And two, you're quite versed in the arts, aren't you? Everyone around here knows you can sing and dance. 
Oh, and plus, you know all the best restaurants in town. How do you know that? <laughs> because your reputation also precedes you. Everyone here calls you the singing samurai Saito Han. I had no idea. I'm confident that someone as cultured as you would make a fine, very fine company for Kanda Sensei. Mm. Pl please understand, it's vital to pro provide my guests with great memories of their time at my establishment. Huh? So, Saito Han, would you be up to the task? Entertain Kanda Sensei, just for one night only. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh. I suppose I could. Don't go telling Otose, alright? She'd probably never let me live it down. <laughs> oh, don't worry. My lips are sealed. And thank you, by the way. Uh, sure. Now, where is Kanda Sensei, anyway? He left for Watami by himself. Didn't seem to be in great spirits. Sounds like I'll need to cheer him up, then. Right. And be sure to mind your manners. Not only is he famous, he's a valued guest of mine. Word spreads, you know. <laughs> ha. Understood. Who's entertaining whom? I just need to buy pickles. Can I purchase some pickles? Arf, arf! Arf, 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 arf! What's with this dog? It's barking at me pretty hard. Oh. Hey. Calm down, man. No use. That thing never shuts up. Day and night. No matter what. Just keeps yapping. I see. Oh. It's a stray, but this is its favorite spot. Obviously, those of us who live around here just have to bear the headache. <laughs> Rampo's great-grandfather! For a little while longer, at least. Mm -hmm. Hmm? What do you mean by that? The neighbors and I have finally decided to get rid of the noisy thing. Get rid of it? Are you putting it down? Mm. What choice have we got? We can barely sleep with it barking its full head off like that. No! Just ignore it. The more attention you give it, the louder it gets. No! Hey, come on! I got a voice and I like to use it. If you don't put a stop to that, they're gonna kill you! Don't you care? Care you, sweetie? It's a dog. It doesn't understand you. I guess reasoning him with, with him was kind of a long shot. I think he does think he can reason with a dog. Kid you A, it's killed Z. Nice to see you. Um, I'm gonna say yes. Uh, yes, please. Okay. Yes. Poor buddy. Maybe if he had something to do besides bark. What about chewing on a bone or something? A pawn shop nearby might have one. Give us a bone, man! Where is the... It's right here. Where is the dang dang shop? Hey, man. Hey, it's Ebisu Pawn. Um, what do you got? Anything good? Bone. Give me like two. Give me like three bones. Thanks. If you don't mind me saying, you're pretty energetic, huh? Let's come back to sell the bone. Somebody who needs you to give it to a dog for a video game. In Yakuza the three. When you're trying to find bone, like a bone or something for um for Mame, 
uh, the little girl's like dog. That's not mommy, but it, then it is. Um, because she adopts it. You can go into all the popos and like all sorts of places. You can go all kinds of places and ask them if they have bones. And some of the responses are very funny. Like, bones? Why would we have bones here? Haha. <laughs> 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 I don't mind at all. Competition between vendors is quite fierce in this area. If you have nothing to separate yourself from the pack, your store will eventually be swallowed up. I see. So what sets you apart is your enthusiasm? Hi. Correct! I have only one natural gift in this world and it's vigor! Some may think of me a bit full of beans, but I'm simply enormously grateful to receive your business. Thank you, honey. I love you. Yes! He brought me a beverage. What a nice husband. Hang on. I too am a bit full of beans. Hmm. Got it. Alright, now we're bonded. Pop, pop, pop. Here we go, here we go. Buddy. If this dog doesn't quiet down, the neighbors here will shut him up for good. Maybe if he had something to chew on? I happen to have a bone on me. Give the dog a bone. Boy. Hey, you know what this is? Hey, oh, wait a minute. Do you want it? Yeah! <laughs> Alright, but you have to promise to keep it down. He's still trying to, like, talk some sense into the dog. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Y'all... Josh and I were trying to decide whether we wanted to, like, headcanon that Kiryu thinks he can talk to dogs. Or that he actually can talk to dogs. I kind of like the second one a lot. I think he can talk to dogs and cats. Why do I think that? I don't know. I just thought it would be fun. He's a nice bone. Oh, he loves it. It actually seems to be working. Oh, we formed a bond with the barking dog. Nice. Okay, so now he's got a bone, so... Oh. Excuse. I need to go to a shrine, please, but I also need a shiny thing. Yeah, give it! Alright. Give me the prostrate! I would like to pray just to make it today. Alright, cool. Okay. Use storage. Put away the bones. Delightful! Alright. I was... Hey. Jar meat. Hey man, do you have... What do you got? It's the Don Quixote employee. What do you got? I will look. Tell me lunch sets. You collecting prize tickets? Thank you, I love prize tickets. This place is well stocked. Thank you for saying so, sir. When it comes to variety, we refuse to be second best. I 
I saw someone say, and then I looked it up and it's true. There was like a shamisen version, like an old timey version of like the Don Quixote theme that they made for the prior version of Ishin. It's just not in this game. And I feel like that is a huge sadness because it actually really whips. You can listen to it on YouTube. Do I have the bones? I put the bones away. With all that inventory, doesn't it get difficult to point customers to any one specific item? Not at all. For our customers' sake, I've memorized the location of every piece of merchandise we carry. That's true. That's a hell of a feat. But I find it hard to believe. <laughs> oh, by all means, sir, put me to the test. Name any item you like. You insist. Let's see. Show me to the flutes. But of course, right this way, sir. Here you are. Bamboo Shakuhachi. If enlightenment itself had a voice, it would be the sound of these flutes. Damn, you're good. I'm impressed. Sorry for doubting you. No apology necessary, sir. Let me know if there's anything else I may direct you towards. Otherwise, please enjoy your day. And don't hesitate to come back to Don Quixote. All right. Yes. <laughs> Ebisu-sama, thank you, thank you. Mm hmm? Hmm? Miss, did you say Ebisu-sama just now? Have you seen someone who looks like that? Mm. Oh, yes. I saw Ebisu-sama himself. When was this? <laughs> Hardly a moment ago. I'm sorry, you must have just missed your chance to receive his blessing. That must have been the con man. Dark Ebisu. I'm sorry, miss. Do you know which way Ebisu went? Mm. I believe he said he was heading to Teramachi. That's not far. If I hurry, I might be able to catch him. Teramachi, thank you. <laughs> oh ho ho, going after him? Good luck to you. I hope you get a blessing today. Yeah, I want to see about pickles. Or whatever he's got. What do you got? Oh, Nato? I don't think I even need Nato. Excuse me, sir. I too need to pray. Yeah. I'm really close to getting another prayer milestone. What is going on here? Oh great lucky cats, please accept this gift and grant me good fortune. I offer you a thousand mon. I beg of you, I, the cat-dependent man, beg of you, the cat. Do you mind if I ask what's going on? Huh? Oh, you crept up on me there. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it just looked like to me that you gave a cat some money. <laughs> ha ha ha, don't you know? This is no ordinary feline! This is the great lucky cat! Chicken head. Alright. I gotta get out of this first, though. Nani. The what? Hi. It bestows lucky blessings on anyone who leaves it an offering. Turn away. Did he just turn around? Shh! 
Look! Spin back. <coughs> Meow. Oh! I thought I'd lost this forever. This is a dear old charm of mine. Ha ha ha. You see, the great lucky cat has shed its benevolence upon me like so much lucky fur. I'm not sure I buy this. What are you talking about? You saw what just happened. Well, it's no matter to me whether or not you believe in the cat. My humblest gratitude once again, late great lucky cat. I'll come by again. <coughs> Meow. Kitty. Mm. Oh, man. Cat's supposed to bring you good luck if you offer him money? A guy gave him a thousand mon. Here, it's a thousand mon. <coughs> Meow. Oh no! Kitty! Ah, great lucky cat, huh? Meow! Come on, doofus! I'm trying to show you! Huh? You actually brought me something. Obtained white bait! Mm. Meow! Hmm. Maybe you think this is lucky. You want it, huh? Gave the white bait back. <laughs> Meow. Well, it seems happy at least. All right, the lucky cat and I have formed a bond. All right, it's time for chicken head. I oh, oh, sir. Sell me some manure, please. Thank you. I know about expanding. Um, yes, take me there. Thank you. I've been uplifted. Love lifted me. Chicken head first, and then I'll come back. That's the agreement. Chicken head first. Alright, Inzy Winzy. Get on in there. Change into chicken outfit. Okay. Your 30 minutes starts now. Oh shit, it's fucking snowing again. God damn it. Whatever. Whatever the snow. You can't boss me around. You don't know me. Uh. 
Okay. Excuse? You're fine. Give us jars! Oh man, is it gonna crash? Okay. Oh, that looked like it was it was a little chunky. That was a chunky load on that jar. Alright, before we go over there. Meow. Hmm? You're covered in mud again. Don't tell me. Shake. How clumsy can a cat be? Fine. Should I take her to the bathhouse again? Yes. Well, come on then. Meow. Meow. Ooh, those are chunky snowflakes. You really are helpless, huh? Don't scratch me, okay? <laughs> the jowls are clipping. <laughs> oh, the cat is shiny. You love kitties, can you? He's like, now don't do it again, okay? And the cat says back to kitty, okay, and then does it again. Don't fall in again. I'll do my best, Dad. I'm just gonna interpret it. Yeah, take me to the house, man. All right. We should have some stuff. How much virtue do I have? Oh, fuck. I didn't look. Oh, I've got enough. Give me that, like, real good farm. Fuck yes. Oh, yes. Release me, shrine! Pray. Good. Examine. Storage. Um, probably all this rice, to be honest. Uh, uh, it's candy. All right, what do we got? You can't do them this way, too. But this is way quicker. Garlics do I have now? Swordsman, orbs, it's time for more orbs. Okay. Gun morb. Health increase four versus Phoenix battle. Oh. That's Wild Dancer. Damn it. That was confusing, Wild Dancer. Gunman Rank 5. Yes. Thank you. Alright. Oh, shit. Well, fuck it. How many garlics do I even have? Is it so many? Oh, it is. Alright, I'm gonna let the garlics go, like, one more time. And then I'm gonna be like, that's enough of you. 
We gotta make some space, man, because it takes up so much space to make garlic. Hey! Alright, what do we got? Look. Show me the orders, Haruka. Okay. Holy shit. How many? Two. Two. Okay. Deliver them, please. I'm so glad it's Friday, y'all. It has been a rough week. See what we got. Two of these. Okay, what do we got to do here, man? Uh, Fire! <laughs> here we go. Nice, nice. 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 Alright, I need another one of those. Man, these orders people are like... They want a lot. They want a lot of stuff. Fire! Keep it going! Slice it up, baby. To invigorate with soup. Invigoration! Three sword style! Alright, good. Okay, good. I should be able to make two of these, no problem. So what I gotta do here? Chopping. Alright. Yes! Chop, chop, chop! Oh no, not this thing! It's premium, y'all. Gotta get that premium. Alright. Yeah, I'll cook. I just had the weirdest thought. <laughs> like, if Kiryu tries to take a bath, he's gonna have that chicken mask on. 
<laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> Pour it. Pour it, baby. Okay. Still good. More fire. Good. Okay. Chef Savant. Good. Alright. Order me up some orders, man. Good. Okay. Oh, I gotta check on the chickens. Chickens. Oh. That was pot meat. That was not chickens. There are not eggs. No eggs. Forget you, eggs. Okay, let's get rid of the garlic, because it's really quite large. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. Right. Ginger, some beans. money do I got? I'll look. Thank you. Oh, taters, precious. Spicy miso hot pot and power stew. Alright. Wow, it is snowing so much. I keep saying that, but I keep looking out the window and being like, Whoa! I could use a bath. Get in the bath. Nice to relax for a minute with my chicken mask on. Oh my god, it is it is happening. It's true. Mmm, the water's just right. How is it, Uncle Hajime? Ah, it's nice. Thank you. You work up such a sweat every day, it's important to stay clean. Want me to wash your back? Mmm, sure. お背中流すね。おじさん。やはり人に笑ってもらうと気持ちいいな。自分では全部は手が届かないからな。それにしてもいい気分だ。よかった。<笑> 
おじさん背中大きいねまるでお父さんみたいはるかのお父さんの背中もよく洗ってあげたのかうん小さい頃はよくお父さんと一緒に入ってたよ背中を流してあげるとすごい喜んでくれてボソッと「ありがとう」って言ってくれたの洗ってる私も嬉しくなっちゃって最近は全然背中を流してあげたりとかしなかったけどもっと流してあげればよかったかなはるかのお父さんはどんな人だったのああポアはるかうーんいつも寡黙でぶっきらぼうででも優しい人だったよ実はおじさんに結構似てるんだほうそうなのかうん小さい頃はお父さんみたいな人と結婚するとかよく言ってたなあはるかのお父さんも娘からそんなふうに慕ってもらえるならきっと幸せだったんだろうなそそうかなああきっとそうさもちろんもっと長く生きたかったという悔いはあるかもしれないがなはあだが死んだ人はもう帰ってこない俺たちにできることはその人たちの分まで必死に生きることだけだだろううんそうだね私お父さんやお母さんの分まで頑張る頑張って頑張ってうちの家みたいな素敵な家庭を作るんだはるかならきっと温かい家庭を作れるさあ、oh. And then she can mask and everything. Cook. I have to make new things.、Uh, what am I missing? Salmon. I can make the power stew, though. Yeah, power stew. Chikara! Jesus! Oh no. Delivery! Take the stew! Take the 
This stew's for you, baby! If my memory is right, I probably have to thank you. Oh, for what? You post, probably post about the increasing returns of doing the list. Oh, yeah! Yeah. Yeah, grinding the list is good. I mean, it is grinding, but it 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 definitely gives you like more stuff as you go. Well, I'm not sure if that was me, but if it was, uh, you're welcome. Okay. Hmm. See if we can pray. We can. All right, I could do like one more round. I'll just cook until I, I'll just make some pickles until I don't feel like doing that no more. Uh, what do we got? What else? What else can we make? Make the umbashi. Plums? Yay! Ajo mi tekure. Waru kunai daro. Uh oh. Ooh, Uncle Hajime, these umbashi are sour as heck. Muzukashi mon da na. Whatever. It counts. I've made umboshi now. Before that, I thought I was stuck at uh, hawking ginseng. I mean, hawking ginseng is not a bad, like, between, like, thingies item to do. But you really want to have that as a supplement and not as your main uh, thing. Because it's not very good for that. So slow. Uh -oh. Whatever I'm doing, my best. All the logs have little spirals on them. Ajo, me take Good. Pickles. Show me pickles. Yoshiarzo. Pickles. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Nice. Mm. Oh, yeah. Koi. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Yosh. Chopping them up. Chip chop, getting the pickles. Chip chip, eat them. Look at it. Alright. Two more pickles. Pickles, pickles. Pickles. Making pickles, baby. We gotta make the pickles. We gotta make them go. Alright, here we go. Time to get good swords and guns and stuff. Hell yeah. Yes. Ba da ba 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 ba. 
Good ass pickles, I know it. One more pickles. No. I know I've been playing the switch too much because I've like got my uh, select buttons screwed up a little bit. Pickles. Pickles again. Cook it up. Chopping it. Alright y'all, I gotta go to the bathroom. So I'll be back in like less than five minutes, but I have to go. Uh, just give me a sec. Hello, y'all. I am back. And... I, that, was that the last pickles? I freaking hope so. It better have been. I don't care about Arroyo. All I care about is pickles. Yeah, she's still there. She's gonna hang out there as long as I want her to. All right, spinach. Oops. Really? Why does it the ambush the ambush don't count? Uh, yeah, go ahead. It should count. It sucks that it don't. Taking a break? Phew. Okay. 
sorry, beans. Rambling man. Yes, pray. Pray. Oh, I did it. All right. Alright. Goodbye, Haruka. I just want to see something. We're spinning. And what's spinning? Good. Covered in mud again, don't tell me. I it happened again, I don't know what happened. How clumsy can a cat be? Should I take her to the bat house? Yeah, we're gonna get her cleaned up. Come on then. Meow. Thank you, Daddy. It's like you are my dad oh now. You really are helpless, huh? Don't scratch me, okay? Meow! This is your favorite cat? <laughs> the cat just does this because it thinks it's the only way to get time with you? Oh, There, there, that's better. Oh, now he's sparkly, baby! My experience with bathing cats is they tend to slink away afterwards, angrily. I don't like to do it, but sometimes you gotta do it, because sometimes the mess is... Sometimes there's a mess, and the cat is part of the mess and has to be bathed. Don't fall in again. I will do my best, Dado, not to fall in. Oh, yes. Hey, buddy. All right, what can we get? I think we ate and drank everything here, but. You gotta be this guy's buddy. Boot on, man. I'm gonna pitch in at the shop. Start slow, please. Oh God, I was wondering. It's happening. Tempura. 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 
I can't imagine being stoned is gonna make this like more better. It seems like it's gonna make it worse. Oh shit. Like, I was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, pay attention is one. Oh my god, it's so good. Hey! His <laughs> chicken head is so good with that <laughs> shout. Ah! Oh, fuck me. Fuck! Yes! Give me them noodles, boy! Yosh! Oh, thank God. Yes, this is around the level I should be at. Don't increase me, bro. Don't increase me, bro. Okay, okay, I can do that one. Yes, it's so good. Gilded said you did this. You made it happen. You're the one. Oh, fuck me, no. Oh, are you fucking serious? No! Alright. I can do it if it's two. When it's more than two, I can't do it. Okay. Alright, alright! You should be proud! It's good! Alright, alright. Hey! Don't level me up, man! Come on! I'll never make it. Uh-uh. Yes! Okay. Oh, fuck me! <sighs> I did it wrong, Kiryu. I'm sorry. Hey! All right, chicken time is up. Thank you. I did my best. I am not. I'm not good at the udon. Uh, we got god tier udon, but Josh had to do it because I was just like, there is no way. Saito-san, you're really quite adept at this. I was watching you, and the way you handled the customers, it was something to behold. You've been incredibly helpful. Here's your pet. Oh, hell yeah. Give me money. Later. You can't buy me, Udon, man. Alright, chicken time is over. Chicken time was very well chosen this time. Good job. It's always a pretty good job. It's always good. Thank you. Did the guest serves was the guests guests? Oh no. It's all happening. The guest was uh it was pretty nice. Alright, here we go. 
and chicken time is over. It was special, and we enjoyed it. Oh fuck, I, I didn't take it off. I did that again. All right, and we're back. Back in normal kitty mode. Which is still like ridiculously, we're always in ridiculous handsome mode. Highway City. Okay. Now. I know, I know what to do. But what I need to do is go back to the blacksmith. Excuse, excuse, excuse. And then I need to go to Mukurogai. Because I need this fish over there. Ooh, that's good. And I need to, uh... Play some Mahjong. Oh, what the heck? Give me the jar meats, man! It's a worm! Oh, wait! I got lucky tickets, hey! I'm, I, yeah, make me be lucky. Uh. Oh my god, it's nothing but paper. Can I get it? Is it good? It's gotta be good. Okay. How many green balls do you have, ma'am? How many? That's another one. So much snow. More green. More snowing. Come on, man. Nope. I'm saving these because they're going to be in another order. Oh my god! How does this keep happening? Like, 20 straight or something? It's bad again! Oh my god. I'm not saying it's rigged, but yeah, I mean... Wow! I'm gonna keep spinning this until you give me something else. Or I run out of tickets, and I guess I'll come back and spin it again! I get 30 more papers! Oh my god! She's really bummed. She wants to ring the bell, but she can't. Because I'm unlucky! Uh -oh. Whatever! You still have to give me paper. Oh my god. Come on, ma'am, give me something other than the green ball. Ah! How many green balls are in there? 
How much paper do you have? I'm gonna have all of it. Oh my god, more. Oh my god. Send it away. Oh my god. This is wild. Oh my god! Give me all your paper! You will have no paper, and I will have all paper. Yes, give it to me! Give me everything! More! 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 Oh, yes! Only paper! It's all I wanted. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Even more paper. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes! More paper! Yes! Give me all your paper! Thanks! It was It was good. I wasn't mad about it because it was fine. Pray. Use storage. Okay. Good. All right. Who's ready to get more paper? Yes. We gotta pick up the shinies to get the paper. Hello. We're singing. Who's ready? I sing for you. Who's ready for Daikon? Karaoke! It's two wheel digger! 
am. Some things never change. Hey! Take on song. All right, I will extend, please. I will sing the True Hearted Samurai song because it is wild. And then obviously Baki Batai. <laughs> Real ladies, fake Kiryu. It's her fa <laughs> Pretty ladies. Bite me. Bite me, I'm doing my best, okay? I'm extending it. I'm gonna do one more, and it's obviously gotta be Bakumatai. Hello. There we go. Bring me the real heavy hitters. <laughs> Here we go. Everyone's swaying. It's good. Bakantai Kodo Mulane. You may
Was Japanese the same now as it was in the Bakumatsu period? No, I, I don't think so. I mean, you know, things change a lot. Like, so, yeah, I think things definitely are different. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Alright, what am I gonna do now? I didn't mean to hit it again, I guess. I, I already spent the money, though. I guess I'll do this. I don't know. I didn't mean to push yes. But we're here to present for you. this one as well. right one this time please no thank you oh yeah I was gonna go back to the blacksmith it's like what was I doing before I started singing, it was go to the blacksmith, pick up more underwear. I need underpants. I need underpants. Come on if you think you can. Yes, give me the well. Nice. Phew. I've been walking around a lot. I think I'll take a break. You bring the stuff? Huh? What the? Where'd this guy come from? 
The stuff, friendo, the stuff. Uh, stuff? What, you forget? This time, this spot, that was the deal. Yeah. No, you've got the wrong guy. I was just taking a break. For real? Nobody else seems to be coming. Shit. Guess he got taken out. This is starting to sound dangerous. And this guy doesn't seem like he's Japanese. Sorry for the misunderstanding, but I'll be going now. Slow your roll. Now that the cat's out of the bag, I can't just let you go. You're gonna help me out. Help you with what? You're gonna bring the stuff in my late partner's place. Daddy. Why me? And I don't even know what the stuff is. Tomatoes. T tomatoes? Your partner got killed over tomatoes? Not so loud. But yeah, that's right. I need tomatoes. Ten of them, to be precise. Of course, I won't expect a free run here either. You get a hold of the goods, I'll set you up with two deal. Two deal? For ten tomatoes? What kind of deal is this? Unless you're keen on losing your head, it's better you don't ask. Okay. Looks like I'm caught up in something much bigger than I realize. Definitely fishy. But, it sounds like it pays pretty well. This guy seems desperate too. At least I could do is bring him some tomatoes. Alright. Ten tomatoes it is. That's the magic number. Make it quick, else I might not be here when you get back. Buddy, I got ten tomatoes in my pants. You want mate you want the the maters? Alright. Well, I don't got ten tomatoes. Oops, that's in no. Stop. How many tomatoes do I have? Three. Oh. Well, I guess I'll have to do something about that. I need to plant tomatoes. Yeah. I'm gonna buy some stuff. I need underpants. Show me your underpants. Alright. Underpants! Yes. Doggy, you are fine. I, on the other hand, need to pray. I'll do it. I don't have spare tomatoes. I thought I did, but I don't. What's going on here and stop it? Stop whatever you're doing. I'm gonna kill you now. <laughs> and I got morbs. Amazing. Sorry about that, man. Please stop. Stop shooting. Please stop shooting. Alright. Ooh, I needed that for something. Oh, I'm going the wrong way now. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, y'all want to go too? Are for serious? Alright. Alright, and he's dead as well. Dead as shit. Yes. Alright. 
Hello, I have underpants for you. I would like to invest my underpants into your establishment. Yes, it's me. Underpants, man. <laughs> I've, it, today is the day of the underpants. Gotta get them all. Can't leave any. Can't leave any underpants behind. Gotta get them all. Underpants in there. Alright. Yes! Get that Smith level up. There we go. Good. All right, variant unlocked. Good. Okay. Craft me up some crafting, man. All right, we got any better guns? All right, so I got this thingy. That's a cherry blossom. I can't do that. Obsidian trunks. Sturm und Drang. Hmm. Worn out cog wheels, you say. Uh, do you have worn out cog wheels? I don't remember what you have. Are they worn out cog wheels? You sure do. Oh, hell yeah. Alright. Alright, now I gotta make stuff. Thank you. Craft gun. No. No! That one. Yes! Oh, shit. Wait. Okay, I can do that. Yeah. Oh, yes! Nice! Oh, my smithing level has gone up. What a delight. Okay, let me out. Thank you. Uh... Well, that was all my money. Thanks a lot. You have embeefened my uh, gun. I appreciate it. Oh, can I go to Gion? Let's do that. Hell yeah. Here I was thinking I couldn't get to Gion without, like, uh, triggering that, like, uh, Arroyo cutscene that I don't feel like doing right now. But no! There we go. What's your deal, man? Hey there! Hey there! Feeling lonely, pal? Mm -hmm. If you've time, coin, and inclination, this is the place for you. My body house is ripe with cuties. No, thanks. Oh, buddy, please, just hear me out. This brothel's my whole life's work. Fine. Make it quick. Yes, sir. We opened only recently, so we're not well known yet, but I'm confident our services are second to none. My escorts have curves to die for, and each one's sorrow. Okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> yes. Come inside and lose your worries. Uh, I guess I have, I, I could take a look. Now you're getting it. Follow me to paradise, friend. Oh, no. I think I just remembered what this is. Right this way, friend. Uh, this place looks pretty dull for a brothel. Perhaps. But that's only because I put all my funds towards what's inside. Come on in. This 
is pretty nice, actually. Haha, <laughs> 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 thank you. Our interior decor is the height of modern fashion. Now then, without further ado, why don't I find you a companion for the night? Mm -hmm. Tell me, pal, which of these three is your type? Diligent and tireless. I uh, sure. Diligent and tireless. Great choice. What could be better than a partner who works hard and will do? Okay. Do anything? Wait right there, and I'll be back with a hot, passionate date for you, buddy. I'm practically jealous. Give me just a moment. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Here, the pride of our establishment. Okiku-chan. Doskoi, I am Okiku. What's going on here? Is there a problem? I asked for someone who works tirelessly. That's a sumo wrestler. Doskoi. Ah. Sir, I've given you what you asked for. Okiku-chan trains day and night. No one else practices so much in a shop. Hell, in our whole country. Mm -hmm. And as I told you, his skin is as soft as mochi. Uh... What? I didn't say my escorts were women, if that's what you mean. What is with this, like, wackety schmackety music? This... I don't know about this. Stop right there! You owe me and this beauty for our time. What's that worth? Let me see. Ten Rio should cover things. Uh, no. I don't have much money. Bye. Huh? Let's turn this house of pleasure into a house of pain. Those goy. Yes, I have to fight these. Troubles of men now. <laughs> Not the gun, I guess. You know, stop. <laughs> It's pretty silly. This wouldn't fly in most other bordellos. Well, maybe you should run a legitimate one instead of just trying to scam people. You're right, sir. From now on, I'll be more forthcoming with clients to keep this place on the up and up. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Hi. My establishment is every bit a brothel, I assure you. We wish to cater to those who fancy the men of sumo. There are lots of people out there who like their partners soft and plump, including many samurai like yourself. Mm. I see. At any rate, I'm sorry for the confusion. I would love to offer you a complimentary night here as an apology. Some cheeks were out. Nope. Yeah. I appreciate the offer, but no thank you. Your loss. Here, take this then. What do you get? Oh, money. Nice. Apologies again. Please come back whenever you seek the embrace of something soft and supple. Just go. It's pretty silly. I like a big boy. I want a big boy. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I'm gonna try it. 
the courtesan games. Welcome to Yamabuki. Mr. Samurai, you'll need at least one real if you're planning to stay with us. I will go in. Okay. Welcome. It's Anna. ああ、よろしくな。いろいろ話聞きたいな。ふん、いきなりだな。そういうのはあまり得意じゃないんだが。そうだな。どうだ。ギルデッセンズワイフ。そうか。<笑><笑> え、とても。今日はお疲れじゃないですか。ああ、This part doesn't matter。わかりました。準備します。うまいな。まだまだいけそうだ。いかがです。飲み比べでも。ほう、面白い。負けて酔っ払っても知らないぞ。望むところです。Alright, raise cup, lower cup, raise cup, lower cup, raise cup, lower cup. Okay, I can do it. <laughs> Drinking contest. Itadakimasu. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! I gotta try that again. I like. I got confused on the buttons. Yeah, well, I did. Thank you. All right, one more time. Did Kiryu just get defeated by the power of thirst? In a way, yes. And my inability to remember what the buttons do, that also as well. Okay. Yes, I can do it better than that. また来てくれた。元気にされてました。かなり。そうですか。なら今日もいっぱい楽しみますね。あ、そう。そうだ。お客さん、今日はどれくらい飲まれます? Give me a lot of sake. Yes, sometimes I forget what all my buttons do in a game for three seconds and it's very overwhelming. Yes, and this is like Josh did all the quarters on games, so I'm like Soda. I'm like, oh god. Okay. I can do it. I know what to do. I think I know what to do. Alright, alright, alright. I can do this. I can do this. Okay. Alright, good, good, good. I just gotta make sure I'm paying attention. Alright, good. 
いただくとしよう。Oh, for fuck's sake! I fucked it up! 今日は大きみまた来てくださいセンスよらっとびっすなりやばれセンスあっとぶよダンスなおかずいてばっりハロー、パリンキン、ガイズ、テイクミー、デー、デーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデーデー We gotta dance. Feel the power of my dance. I will show you the true meaning of the dance. Oh, jar meats. Oh, man, jar meats. Alright, it's another worm. It's a really good thing that. Oh, no, what's happening here? Oh. Hmm. Ow! Sorry, Mister. You all right? Hmm. Hmm. I'm okay. Ah,、uh, I gotta go. Excuse me. Rather go buyo buyo than puyo puyo. Puyo puyo is so hard. Hmm. In a rush to meet a girl, huh? Miho chan. Shinada kun.、Yeah. I read your letter. Please, it's not true, is it?、Oh, Shinta kun. I'm sorry. Hmm. What's going on? Well, it's too late to find out now because we have to dance.、Uh, take me to dancing. What do you have? Oh. Domo, me take the good idea. Ah.、Uh, yeah. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's time for dancing, okay? Hello. Yes. We're doing it. All right, we're doing it. I can do this. I will show you. Yes! Oh, yes! Heck yeah, y'all! Heck yeah! Oh shit! Oh no! Oh! I did it!
<laughs> I'm extremely <laughs> elegant as shit, y'all. Fuck yeah, elegance, first class, super elegant. She loves it. That was just splendid, Saito-san. You're a fast learner and quite good. Oh, ho, ho, ho. All right. And I got a worm. Everything's looking like Kiryu's way. Oops. All right, y'all. That's the stream. I hope that y'all had a good time. I definitely had a good time. Thank you to everybody for coming and hanging out with me. Thank you to everybody who is in the chat. Everybody who comes and chats with me helps to make things a lot more fun for me and more fun for y'all. And I do really appreciate that. Thank you to everybody who comes by and doesn't chat. Everybody who comes by and checks out the stream, even if it's for a little bit of time, helps to make the stream more visible and helps um, us to grow. So thank you to everybody who watches the VODs later. It's a huge compliment. Thank you so much. And thank you most of all to my subscribers and to our mods, Hawk and Force team. Y'all don't got to do that, but you do do it, and it means a lot to me. So thank you so much. That's going to be it for me. My name is Allie. I'm from okay to be Fat because it is okay to be fat This has been Like a Dragon Ishan. I'll see you on Monday if you can make it. And if you can't, I'll see you when you can. I got to go. Thanks so much. Bye.